The dark skinned Indian girls are looking for suit and tie black men. I have been to my third Desi Indian wedding since January. These Desi Indian dark skinned girls are hated in their country or not liked as much. Whether they Udu, Gujarati, Punjabi, they are recognizing that suit and tie black men like dark skinned women. And they are picking them up. I remember when uh, uh, Mario Van People's son got with a uh, Indian girl. And a lot of people were like, uh, she's black. No, no, no. She's like Pakistani Indian. And uh, she's just darker skin, darker skin brown. And now that you got more of these darker skin Indian girls, I, I was going to speak to this darker skin Indian girl on the San Francisco train. I had hopped on the train to go to a meeting. Beautiful woman, nice eyebrows. Indian women are approaching me too. It's 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 really interesting. I've been approached probably four times over the past twelve years by Indian. Um, it is something that is getting more and more steam because, like I said, in their country, but they're looking for the intellectual black man. They're not looking for the clowns and the thugs. They can't take that to their family. They're looking for the suit and tie black man that they can brag about. You know, like a lot of IT guys are getting scooped up, doctors, uh, you know, that's, you know, it's like the Denzel Washington movie, Mississippi uh, Masala. You know, if you can, uh, if you're a suit and tie black guy, don't be surprised when these Desi Indian girls approach you, you know, wiggling her head. <laughs> And she comes up and approaches you, man. Um, because they are, they are, they, 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 they like, they like dark-skinned men in suits. The very first woman uh, I ran into like that, she was from an area of Pakistan. She, she, was, she was from Pakistan. And she told me in 97, she always wanted a dark-skinned man. She was married to a white husband. But she was telling me she always wanted a dark skin man. And that's what it is, man. It's, it's like, as long as you don't look like a thug or somebody who just stepped out of a thrift store hoodie, you know, you, you, you know, as long as you don't look like a student, you don't look like a college student, you look like an actual established blazer type of man, then yeah, man. You're, you're more than likely to get picked up. And uh, if you are a suit and tie man, especially if you one of them, like I'm 5'11", but if you one of those brothers who are short, man, the, that, that Desi Indian, that that's probably the way to go. It's probably the way to go, man. It's, uh, you can teach her your culture. You know, your children will be raised up uh, with both cultures. Now, now, the main mistake that guys make is you just get a wife and you don't teach. You know, she teaches her culture, but you don't teach yours. You're going to have to teach your African-American culture. You know, when you when, when you blend, you're, you're, you're going to have to. But, uh, you know, and, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't know. There's an island over there. I can't think about it off the top of my head. But there's an island over there that you can't go to. It has nothing but dark-skinned Africans over there, you know, and they just leave that whole island alone. But it's dark, dark, dark-skinned uh, African people over there, and a lot of the Sri Lankans that you see, they are mixed. You know, but a lot of their children come from somewhat, somewhat African descent. Um, you 
know, so the United Kingdom, I'm going to do some passport videos uh, just walking around. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Um, make sure you donate to the monthly Patreon. Leave a $20 donation every every month. You know, $10 donation every month. And uh, help, help the guy out. Much love to everybody, man. And this ain't nothing to do with being uh, 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 African-American hate. It's just black men, uh, once you become owners and, man and, and managers, your, your viewpoint is different. You know, and I'm just telling you where the apples are. You don't have to take it. You can still wait for the peach. I'm just telling you where the apples are. Much love, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.